Hello and welcome to the back nine of round three of the 2024 MVP Open presented by OTB Discs. Our last regular stop. I mean, not exactly regular because it's a playoff, but last stop before the championship. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We're your two hockey. Honk and eloquent as ever. <laughs> Some pretty good conditions, maybe not quite as nice as yesterday. A little bit more wind, but pretty favorable for MVP, but lead card kind of struggling. Yeah, moving day, they are moving down. <laughs> Missy but Gannon, the only one under par on our lead card, but Own and Natalie finding some birdies towards the end of the front nine. Uh, Ella Hansen moving up the leaderboard, five down Paige Pierce also with some fireworks as well in the front uh, nine. There are people sprinkled throughout the leaderboard shooting under par but it's definitely not consistent three day three at mvp with back-to-back four-day events everybody is feeling it <laughs> hold 10 is a par three 276 feet but you can throw what feels like a 350 foot full rip and you're in circle two land it takes a ton of power to get all the way up to this castle wall let alone storm the castle make the putt for a birdie we have seen some the power players can get there i think you got to push the trees on the right a little bit to get a really clean look at it but you can get there going straight and own has gotten near circle's edge with this flex forehand play After playing this hole a few times now, I think that the play is just throw it softly and keep it in the middle. Trying to throw mm. it hard and landing in the woods where Own just did or in the Christmas trees on the right, you just don't... It's really, really high risk. Yeah, it doesn't feel worth it. No, it, it's... Um, you can very easily stack up a bogey stroke there. Whereas if you just throw it in the middle, even if you throw the most perfect shot, you potentially aren't going to get birdie. We saw Paige Pierce get a really nice birdie. It's just so rare. Yeah, I've thrown like the best shots of my life every day and gotten to like 40, 45 and haven't cashed. And it's like, mm, it's glad I, I'm glad I worked it's that like hard. It's such a hard putt too. <laughs> Natalie, very... Uh, fortunate to get through those first branches to get all the way up there, but not so fortunate in the landing zone. I think she's obstructed. Missy impressive with her power. Kristen, we know she's got the power. Similar position as where we saw Paige land. Oh, own. Yeah. yeah this is what. The, for the players that don't have that huge distance, it's just not quite worth it to go for it. You find yourself here so often. But a nice little scramble shot from Own. Yeah, past the basket. She'll have some work left to do. Kind of a scary putt as well. Oh, it's open. Wow. Ooh, so close from Natalie. Oh, a little bit of a roll. Oh. Weird one. Checks up fine, though. Missy. Outside the circle. Very elevated. Not able to get it. give it enough gas. Kristen, once again, putting it in the perfect position, a little closer to that wall, and this putt gets very awkward. Kristen kind of struggling. Just a couple bogeys in the beginning of the round, but back to even par with that one. On pretty right side with that putt, but it grabs good enough for a par. There was only five birdies on hole 10. Two of them circle two putts, Haiti Line and Silva Saarinen both getting huge putts. Yeah, I played with Silva. Hers was very good, very clean, as she does. Another check-in with Paige Pierce. She is three or two holes ahead on hole 12, getting way right and way down the fairway, just like you should, setting herself up nicely to the second half of the fairway. A beautiful turnover shot parked. Oh, very nice. I think with those new little trees there, you're seeing kind of two plays. People working the right more off the drive and people just trying to pipe it down the hill as far as they can, but ending up a little bit left. Really, trees or no trees. I really like the right play. Me I feel too. Like it kind of dumbs down the hole a little bit. Yeah. Sets you up for a downhill sidearm. We love that. Page five down after that great birdie. hole 11. Uh, these trees just keep getting bigger. It's very difficult to find this landing zone, in, especially in the wind. Today we did have a little bit of right to left wind. 
Um, but I think we'll see these lead card ladies have no problem getting over. Your second shot is definitely obstructed as well with some Christmas trees growing very, very tall. Um, this hole, you just try to want to stay in the open area. And if not, hopefully your scrambling abilities uh, are able to shine. A lot of times you can't even swing your arm. Kristen, making a good correction for yesterday, she did end, end up in an okay spot and even got the birdie, but that is definitely a more clean shot. I like this play from Owen, going up and over those tall trees, working that right side. Oh yeah, from big distance. Working the full flux to get into the clearing. Missy, not quite as dramatic of a shape, but some nice churn. She oh. almost, okay. She makes it out of there all right. It's caught up on the last tree. Very friendly Christmas tree. The jolliest. Natalie playing with fire here a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, she it can be. In, she's in the middle of them. You never know over there. Own left with another full drive for her. Not quite as far as she just threw, but definitely a full pump with a destroyer. Yeah, 325-ish, a little slightly uphill. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh, that's looking good for Missy. A perfect <laughs> Wow. And to stay up there is rare. Fantastic shot. Wow. Kristen, that drive was so far. She almost went into the next set of Christmas trees. And a nice hyzer of her own. How, how are we getting heck? two up there? This is like a notorious rollaway green. Yeah, that doesn't happen. She even rolled up the hill. Oof. Natalie going through the trees. She's pretty far, though. Yeah. Wow. Good recovery. Gives herself a look. Really important to try not to hit the cage here. No. Oh, my gosh. It sits down. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Solid run. Natalie, definitely frustrated. It's, I think, maybe her fourth cage hit today. But, yeah, she's, as Madison said, oh, man. Own a little left side there, but one of those ones that should have stuck. Missy, tap in birdie. Couple birdies, couple pars, a pretty clean hole 11. Cat merch ahead on hole 14, another big water carry. This is a full send. Looking pretty good. Looking really good. Ooh. Wow. It almost goes in. She looks like she's fresh off a of turkey, having a hot round. We know Ella Hansen's doing well out here. This one definitely looks a little bit safer. Nice. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Nice comeback cut for par from Ella. Cat with the tap and birdie. It's like Ella in solo fourth right now, but Cat making a run with four in a row, which we are calling. It was a common yellow throat. Mm. Not super common out here at Maple. Yeah, I kind of want to call it a blue jay today because I heard one mimicking a red-tailed hawk perfectly. Well, lucky for you, there are no rules. A, today we're going to call it a blue jay. 
Hole 12, par 4, 525 feet. We saw Paige Pierce land up and to the right. There's some new trees right here that were planted that definitely are a little bit in the way than in years past. Forehand's a good play off the tee or throwing up and over the Christmas trees on a turning line. Then you're lucky if you can see the pin, or you're grateful rather, if you can see the pin on your second. It's usually a blind shot um, and kind of an interesting little angle to get down there. Forehand works really well or maybe a turning backhand shot, but a lot of speed control and touch necessary to get inside the circle on the second. I watched uh, a shot today kick off a tree and go way past the basket. And that's always a danger. It is brutal in the woods back and left of the green. Yes. So speed control, like Erica said, actually is very crucial. I did not realize how crucial until today. Is Kristen throwing farther? Yes. I feel like she's just crushing a disc I right mean, now. to get up and over that hill. Kind of all weekend, she's impressed me. It's just compared to watching her, not compared to anybody no, else. No, she's throwing farther than she normally throws. Yeah. Own work in the flex sidearm. One of the few with the power to get up where you need to be to still attack for birdie with the sidearm. I learned today from my caddy, Nicholson Willard, that these are fruit trees. He is an oh. ornamental tree specialist. And Love that. There's a cherry, two lemons, and a pear, I believe is what he said. Okay, that makes me a little bit less mad about it. They are, they're they getting injured though. They are, <laughs> yeah. apparently the scars taken as young trees will last their lifetime. Oh he man. He was very concerned. We got to get some bark protectors on these trees. Seems like the disc golfers are not doing a very good job of avoiding them. We haven't seen many tree hits in FPO though on those little guys. It seems to not really affect our game. Whoa. Wow. That was a roller coaster. Own probably not going to be quite as happy <laughs> seeing where she ended up. I think she's going to be quite obstructed back there. But back right where she is isn't quite as bad as back left. Missy like Matt was saying. opting for the forehand as well. It's a little short and sawed off, but that's... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, oh and a I friendly... I thought she was way further up the hill. After effect roll. Mm -hmm. hmm, I feel like they got mapled early in the round. Definitely not a word, but I'm going to... Just gonna stick with it, mm -hmm. and but now we've seen some friendly ones. The yeah. fact that we saw two stick on the last hole and Missy roll down. Missy just got hilled in a good way. Hilled. Kristen calling for it to slow down, and it does. Perfect. Really nice touch. That's such a hard shot with a forehand to come in softly. It's kind of her specialty, and you can see why. Natalie, I mean, you throw, we saw a similar shot with a check-in from her yesterday. Very good at that kind of sharply angled panning shot. Own just forced to chip up to the green and settle for par. One of the first times we've seen Own actually blow by the basket. <laughs> yeah, usually the trees help her out if she comes in hot, but this is definitely the green to, to do it on. There were only six birdies on hole 12 today, a little less than expected. Kristen for a turkey and to get under par. Right? Right. Math. I think that's right. <laughs> I think. And up the hill we go, the steepest walk on the course between hole 12's basket and hole 13's tee pad at the top of the hill. And Kristen, two under par as per math. Here is this hill shot on hole 13. 472 plays like 472. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though it's downhill, it's so hard to get to this basket. It's just well guarded. It takes a very um, perfect line, a very uh, exact angle, depending on what disc you choose. My brain tells me a mid range is the best disc to go just dead straight forever and glide, but most FPO players pulling out a, at least a fairway driver. 
a classic mistake here, not quite flipping it up enough. It can be fine over there. It can be awful. We'll see. Yeah, that's it gets very, very, it goes very far down the cliff on uh, the left side of the fairway. What was the wind like for your card on this one? Do you remember? Kind of tailwindish. I feel like it was also, it was like heavy crosswind when I came to. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. We didn't have it much. Was, we no? didn't have much. Oh, wind, okay. No. I just caught a gust coming through here. That was a solid shot from Missy. On with that pink racer. Getting most of the way through. Hole 13 played as the second most difficult hole. It's really oh. hard to control your angles on this giant downhill. Holy cow. What a pure shot. <laughs> oh, she's a, she's a <laughs> parked. Let's, yeah, let's please follow that. That was a Pearl Nautilus. You, that couldn't have been more perfect. We saw Rebecca Cox park it in the practice room, but she kind of look at this. through the last couple of trees. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bumps Beautiful. the bottom of the pin. That's taken strokes on the field. Yeah, only two people landed in circle one in regulation. Only eight even got to circle two. This is classic hole 13. Being on the left side, having the tiniest gap, and catching it on your way in, scrambling for bogey. Kristen's third still doing work. The screen is sketchy too. Ooh, that tree really helped her it out. It did. I swear, she's trying to ring one of these long ones up a little more than normal. Oh, and probably not running this one too hard. Yeah, super soft bit. Just trying to stay up on top of this wooden wall. If you fall off the wall, it's really easy to continue rolling. It drops off pretty steeply. There were only two birdies today. We saw where we saw Natalie Ryan park the hole. Cat Merch canned a circle two putt for her birdie. Over half the field with a bogey or worse. Hole 13 is another classic Maple Hill long par three. Oh, Maple. Kristen with the bogey. Let's check in with Ella Hansen. Fighting for a lead card position going into the final day. Ooh, after that bogey. What a sidearm. Wow. What power. That was huge. Oh, she parked it. Wow. That is a big shot to throw with so, such control. Yeah. Ella and Paige both making moves up the leaderboard cat merch though with the current hot round. Hole 14 is a par 3. It's 297 feet. We saw Ella Hansen and Cat March throw it. You got to give it some height if you're going up and over the water and come in either on a spike angle or uh, Ella threw a little bit slower speed maybe it looked like. Um, kind of more straight at it. You're trying to stay inside the circle so you don't have too bad of a death putt on your birdie attempt. New wall. We've talked about it all weekend long. You got to give it a little more height to clear that bad boy. Helps you a little bit on the putting green though. This looks too wide. Yeah, it sure does. Oh, wait a second. It might be. I, it's, I think it's safe over there. It is, but she didn't quite cross <laughs> into the safe area. Let's see if Missy can make the adjustment. That's good height. Very nice. Look how calm the water is. There was not a speck of wind here on hole 14, getting a really nice mirror reflection. Own putting it out wide. Oh, wow. Puts it in the bullseye.
Really nice nose up angle on this disc. The flight is perfect, slowing down as it gets to the green and checking up so softly. Yeah, can't really do it much better. Kristen aces it. <laughs> That's wide. Yeah, it's stable though. Come on. Ooh, oh, wow. She would, she would put better. it slightly closer. <laughs> Get out of town. Uh, yeah, I got Kristen going Grand Glory, which is a fairway driver. Let's see it again. That's why she's able to put it a little bit wider and it fades a little bit faster. Just the perfect amount of time, barely making it over that wall. It's so impressive. Yeah, you got to be a little scared for a second to park this hole. Natalie from the drop zone, right at the water. She made this one yesterday. A little undercommitted there. It does check up on the wall. It's basically a tap in from there once you take your meter. Missy also with a death putt. Good for it. Missy really stringing them together here. Yeah, just right back to bogey free. Yeah, just one tiny blemish. Mm -hmm. A couple of top end birdies for Owen and Kristen. Oh, go ahead. 12 birdies on the day today. Let's see, Owen at seven down, very much in the mix, working for that lead card battle. It's crazy. 21 people landed inside the circle cool. for birdie, but only 12 birdies. <laughs> That's how scary this putt is. Yeah, definitely feel the nerves. Oh, a tie at the top. Also, Paige Pierce, Ella Hansen currently rounding out the lead card cap. Merch, hot round, six down through 17. It's a tight battle for Championship Sunday. Moving around on moving day. Here's hole 15, a birdieable par three. 322 plays like 340. Uh, you can take this straight gap that the drone is wiggling through, or you, if you turn your disc just a little bit more after the initial gap, there's a nice backdoor route that I kind of like as well. It gets you a little bit further down the fairway and gives you a less scary putt. It is a wiggly hole, isn't it? Missy Ooh. wiggling through everything. But like a dead straight wiggle somehow yeah. also? Impressive. ESP Thrasher, obviously. Owen had a little trouble on this one yesterday. And it looks like she was intentionally going for that right side gap. And it really works for her. Yeah, there's more room for ground play over there as well. Mm -hmm. It just opens up really nicely. It's a bit of a scary gap to take, but once you hit it, yeah, there's a little bit more room than this route. This one has a lot more trees in the second part of the route. Mm -hmm. Kristen getting through almost cleanly. I think she's in circle two. No. Natalie mm. grip locking a little bit. Again, she's going to catch a right side tree and recovering from this area is so tough you're basically looking at a wall of trees you're blind to the pin it's farther than you think no matter how hard you throw it it seems like you're always short but natalie putting a lot of power on it uh, wow her recovery shots today are blowing my mind yeah to park it scrambling while so she, well while it's a blind shot so good Kristen, trying to ring this up. <laughs> Missy from just inside. Low right. Missy again coming back. It's a little bit of a drop off here. Her disc travels a little more than we'd like, but a nice crisp comeback putt. Own cashing another birdie. Oh, nice. A very clean last nine holes for her as well. There were eight birdies on hole 15. A 
Shout out to Danny Clyden for parking the hole. Ooh, nice. All right, in the battle for lead card on 18, Cat Merch up first. She's seven down. Oh. Going aggressive roller. We saw Ella do this yesterday and no. hit that same bridge. It's right in the way. And it did the same thing, rolls out of bounds. Mm-hmm. Rude. We saw Ella save it from over there, but it was a pretty insane shot. Ella abandons the roller. <laughs> Maybe seeing Cat Merch's and was like, yeah. well, no, I can't. Huge forehand, though. And she doesn't have to get that far, obviously, if she can save it. Mm-hmm. Cat opting to just go for bogey here. Ella. Going for it. Going for it. Yes. Oh. Good power needs to fade. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Not very many women attempting to go for the green on the second shot. What a birdie. That's a two-stroke swing with Cat Merch giving Ella... The advantage going in tomorrow for a potential lead card positioning. Cat Merch finishing out with a bogey, but dang, look at the rest of her round. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she was just talking smack to Ella. I bet. <laughs> That's awesome. This sport is about trust. It's about confidence in your disc. All the untold hours of development and commitment are here for you. The MVP Pro Shop. Start your journey today. Hole 16 is a par three, 364 feet. Ella got there with a sidearm, but that is a rarity. Usually you see kind of a hyzer flip to turning shot. You need to get through the initial gap early. Anything is horrible. Uh, most good shots end up, I'd say, largely in circle two. Another one that's just a hard par three to birdie, but you see a lot of long looks. No OB. I guess there's water way, way over there, but I've never seen that come into play. It does um, look a bad tree kick. <laughs> oh, no. I saw it yesterday. Oh, man. Uh, Own working the flex nicely. And uh, yeah, she's on the dance floor. And as Madison has mentioned, this tee pad is just a bit shorter. You see everyone starting off the back of it. It's apparently two brick, paper bricks shorter mm. than the rest of them. If you are not aware and you step up on the tee pad and just try to do it like normal, you literally fall off the front. <laughs> like almost break your ankle. Missy, kind of what I was talking about, a really great shot. I don't think quite to circle one, though. Also, uh -oh. oh, almost perfect. Catches a tree. Kristen going to be... I don't think she's in circle two, but hopefully it's not too difficult of a scramble. Natalie just got to try to not grip block this disc. It's a brutal mistake on this hole. That looks so much cleaner. Oh, yeah. And we saw her get the birdie yesterday, but she did get a, a friendly tree kick today. All air and gets the unfriendly kick, actually. She hits both of the V trees. Great shot. Oh, Kristen, even farther, farther than I thought. Yeah, it looked like a tough lie. She wasn't quite able to flex something out. It just has to pitch up and play for the par. Some of these little trees in here can definitely get in your way on the putt, but not <laughs> if you're on Scoggins, baby. Yes. What a putt. That's so good. And for a turkey. I hope we get to see That's such a what she was looking at. Too. Yeah, look at all this little stuff in the way. Yeah. Wow. Nice to see one of those catch four. She's had a few others that weren't quite dead center that didn't stick. That's quite the birdie. One of only six birdies today on hole 16. Natalie, little uphill, little Anheuser putt. Good for it. Dead center, nice little Annie putt. I see almost a carbon copy of what she did yesterday on this hole. Yeah, not not her best effort. Kristen for a really solid par save. Yeah, 
and own bringing it within four of the leaders with that birdie. Also important again for the lead card tomorrow. Uh -oh. Paige Pierce, yeah, yanking it over the right, but <laughs> just vaporizing through every tree. And up there, actually, she can attack from there. Just a layup. Uh, Not a great one. <laughs> Just a couple shanky doodles. <laughs> oh, she's going backhand from there. It's a really good place to go. Did she just, oh, oh, no. I was about to say, did she go through the rocks? What's happening? Okay, and she didn't cross over, so she has to take it from where oh, it was no. last inbounds. And this is still not an easy oh, shot. And she's up there for a double. And she was in third, but she's going to slide back to nine under over par. A lot of stuff just happened. Yeah, yeah, it did. Let's that check in like, with all the other math that's happening. What the heck? That was a roller coaster. Okay, it looks like currently in a tie for third with Ella Hansen and Owen Scoggins. Okay. A couple holes left to play. Hole 17 is definitely birdieable. 433 plays much longer than that because it is very technical two shot hole. You have to make it through those two trees. Ideally, you want to just throw it as far as you can up this hill. You don't want to be too pinched right because it almost used backwards to this elevated basket perched on a ledge. The second shot can be just a little pitch up if you get far enough, but sometimes you find yourself having to throw something a little faster. There's OB on the left that is in your head for sure. Own taking some off here, just trying to make sure she gets through the gap. And she has done this really well every single day. It's a little more pinched to the right than you want to be, but she has those very technical shots. Natalie's been doing more of kind of a straight shot almost all the way up the hill and then able to see the pin from there. This is looking good. Yeah, being out to the left is not necessarily a bad thing here. We had someone on my card hit the wooden things. I f forgot how loud it is. It is the meanest sound in the <laughs> world. I, w I watched it happen. It still scared me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so loud. It's hanging on the tree, but there's space. So it makes like a drum noise almost. And everyone through the gap cleanly. Kristen with a forehand oh, way up you. there. Yep. I think Missy going to have the most work left to do. She's going sidearm. Half the field birdieing this hole. Oh, yes, Missy. This feels like one you want to at least get yourself a putt on. Natalie, not maybe quite as far as she has been. I think she can't quite see it. Today. Oh, she can see the flag, it looks like. And she juices this one deep into circle two. Behind a tree, very big comeback putt. I think I'd rather be putting from far than short. That's, that's my game plan from the future. Just throw it as hard as I can. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> this, putt, this putt is scary. It just goes so far past. Oh, Owen very pinched. She's throwing straight at OB, essentially, so she really needs to fade. And she does. Not really coming back. There's some low hanging branches. Very aggressive bid. Own from looks like just outside. She's lining it up. Nice. <laughs> Automatic. Supersonic. <laughs> With a blue jay on the card. Missy from a similar distance, a little bit closer. Dang, committed Man. but left side and this, you hate to see it. There it goes. Did it roll up and through that tree? It sure did. Do the comeback putts look like this? Almost always. She's still running it? No, I don't. Not sure what she was trying to do there, but that is a terrible lie. And 
She did the best she could. <laughs> <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> you got to do what you can out here. Down there. <laughs> nice putt from Kristen. That looks so easy. Kristen putting together a nice round, especially on this back nine. After just a bit of a slow start. Great comeback putt from Natalie. This putt is so hard. It's so uphill. And she's going to have to take her second bogey of the tournament here on hole 17 of round three. Wild. Wild. Mm. All right, one to go. Still mixing things up. Yeah, check out Own with that Blue Jay. Big old tie. Or well, two-way tie for fourth, big tie for sixth. A lot happening. Holy team, par four, 558 feet. Uh, we have now seen quite a variety of plays. The OB line on the left definitely comes into play if you're getting too aggressive. And generally, we are seeing more layups, so we are seeing more and more women go for it uh, as we gain some confidence and some practice with this slightly bigger shot since we are farther back than we have been in years previous. The drop zone's a little bit weird. You only go there if you cross uh, over the island green, but don't land safe. I'm um, trying to get some big distance here. Always, <laughs> every time I think a little too turned, and it's fine for a par. Yeah, there's no reason to get super risky here. Unless you're unless, going for it. Unless you can throw a 400-foot sidearm. Yeah, she had a perfect shot. Oh, Was it? oh no. Oh, oh wow. Somehow what a break. The, somehow this putter stays on their feet as well. <laughs> I want like a slow mez on that or some sort of <laughs> spectator cam. Ooh. Big shot from Natalie. That's pretty. Yeah, some great turn. Aww. Dang. I bet she goes for it from there, though. We will see. Missy a little low, kind of going towards that OB. But it checks up. Again, fine for par. Kristen just chipping up. Got to get past this tree, and she's right underneath it where we all are. <laughs> yeah, I know. I threw right under it, too. But <laughs> too. you can step out with a sidearm, and it's not too terrible. Um, what Paige tried to do with the backhand, though, is rough if you don't trust your sidearm. Missy choosing to lay up to the right side. Maybe going to take that smaller gap with the backhand rather than trying to wrap around the left side with a sidearm. Um, with a really nice placement on her layup shot. Oh, yeah, Natalie's going for it. Yeah, going the left side of this tree. Man, that was a monstrous drive. It's a little low. Yeah. OB. We'll see where she takes it. It might be from the short side. Yeah, Kristen able to step out, but definitely a lot of work left here. Oh, nice. Textbook. Not an easy shot at all. Kristen just makes it look easy. It's so steep uphill. Owen with a little bit more of a straightforward approach. Able to just kind of check a hyzer. It gives a little run. And what a back nine for Owen. Bogey free, four down on the back. Missy with a... Sharp angle here for her forehand. Oh, she is going forehand. Love mm -hmm. to see it. Yep, Natalie did not cross, not able to proceed up to the drop zone. A little nice spike hyzer into the green, giving it a run for sure. 
Natalie not quite able to put together what she needed to stay in the mix as much for the lead or the win rather. Oh, Missy, so close. Another left side chain out, having to finish bogey bogey, keeping things interesting for the scoring. Natalie gonna slide back for a tie for ninth. Happy to watch her on lead card again. She won two years ago? Mm-hmm. And it came down to this hole. Kristen, with a, such a good back nine, finishing minus three on the round. Owen gonna match with the minus three, maintain her third place position. Missy with the bogey, also gonna be minus three. Wow, a lot of wild ways, different, wildly different <laughs> ways to do that. Yeah, on the on the hardest hole of the day, um, it's not somewhere where you're trying to gain speed. Lots of bogey strokes on that one. This is going to be our lead card going in Championship Sunday. Kristen Tatar with the three-stroke lead over Missy Gannon, uh, who's t just won over Own Scoggins. Ella Hansen going to round out our lead card. Paige Pierce right there, so close to making it after a rough hole 18. She'll play with Holland Hanley, Raven Klein, and Natalie Ryan. Oh, who's the third? Um, we can double check that. <laughs> um, Ella with the hot round going to uh, round out the lead card. Cat Merch, who was in the mix. Gonna yeah, be on the chase card. Mm-hmm. And they're technically in striking distance, but a bit off the lead. I think primarily it's going to be a lead card battle tomorrow. And these are some of the hottest score total scores we've ever seen at Maple Hill. Yeah, Seems that's like true. Everyone in the top 10 is under par or very close to that. Everyone in the top 15 is under par or close to that. Amazing. Yeah, we have one more round out here. Everyone gets to play uh, this year at the championships. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're your two hot geese. Hawk.